Want to learn how to make fast variations of your half chop repeats? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use symbols to put together some of the fastest repeat variations that you've ever made. So let's get right into it. Let's say you're designing a collection of patterns or you want to make a few different options for a client to choose from, and you need to make five patterns fast. Symbols can help you to do this. You'll start by first creating just one repeat with symbols. I showed you how to do that in the previous video, so if you haven't watched that, you may want to go over to that video first to learn and then head right on back here. So here's the half drop repeat pattern that I made in that video. All of the objects here are symbols. You can tell because when you click on them, they all have a plus sign on them, meaning that they're symbols. And over here, I have several different motifs that I'm wanting to put into repeat to make my pattern collection. So instead of going through the process of putting each motif into repeat format, I'll drag each of these motifs individually into my symbols panel to make them all symbols. So I'm dragging the first motif into the symbols panel and the symbols dialog box pops up. You can name it if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm gonna leave the name alone. And you can leave the default export type and the default symbol type because they don't matter in this case. And just click okay. And now your object is a symbol. So I can repeat that process very quickly for the other motifs, making each one into a symbol individually. It'll only take a few seconds to do all four of these. Now for the fun part. Let's drag over this first repeat that we made to select it all, and hold Alt, Shift, and drag it over to make a copy next to it. And we want to have five repeats total, so let's do that three more times to get five. The first one is done, we did this the regular way, so now for the second repeat, Select one of the flower symbols on the repeat, hold shift, and while still holding shift, select each flower symbol on the repeat one by one to select them all at the same time. And we're going to go up to the control panel, up to the word replace, and click on the drop down arrow that you see next to it, and select the symbol that you want to replace these flowers with. And I'm going to select this symbol right here, and voila! I have a new half drop repeat using my new motif. Now move on to the next repeat that's already set up. Select each of the flowers on it, holding shift, and go up to the control panel. Click on the drop down arrow next to replace, and choose the next motif that you want to replace this motif with. And our third repeat is done! So easy, right? Follow the same process for the last two motifs, and now you've got five half drop repeats. But you can also add another element of variation quickly by changing the background color on some or on all of the repeats and now your repeats look really varied, but since the motifs are all the same theme of flowers and leaves, they can all go into one collection. Let me know if you found that useful and make sure you watch the rest of my print pattern playlist. See you there!